this video relates the cross product of two vectors to the area of the parallelogram spanned by those two vectors. Suppose we want to compute the area of this parallelogram that's spanned by the vectors a and b who have an angle theta between them. Well, the area of the parallelogram is the length of the base times its height. Now the height, which I'll draw here, that height is given by the length of b times sine of theta. That's because sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is going to be h over the length of b, which means that h equals b sine theta. Also, the length of the base is just the length of vector a. Therefore, the area is the length of a times the length of b sine theta. Well, that's just the same thing as the magnitude of a cross b. So the area of a parallelogram is given by the magnitude of the cross product of the two vectors that span it. Let's use this formula to find the area of a triangle with vertices P, Q, and R, whose coordinates are given above. Now, a triangle is not the same thing as a parallelogram, but we can think of the triangle as half of a parallelogram. I'll label the vectors that span this parallelogram PQ for the vector from P to Q, and PR from the vector for the vector from P to R. So the area of triangle PQR is going to be one half times the magnitude of PQ cross PR. Now I can use the coordinates of P and Q to get the components of vector PQ just by subtracting. So this is 4 minus 0, 2 minus 0, and 0 minus negative 3 which gives 4, 2, 3. Similarly, the components of PR can be found by subtracting the coordinates of R minus the coordinates of P. So that's 3 minus 0, 3 minus 0, 1 minus negative 3, or 3, 3, 4. Now, let me take the cross product, PQ cross PR, so that's going to be i times 2 times 4 minus 3 times 3 minus j times 4 times 4 minus 3 times 3 plus k times 4 times 3 minus 3 times 2. That simplifies to i times minus 1 minus j times 7 plus k times 6. In other words, I have the vector minus 1, minus 7, 6 as my cross product. Now I'll take the magnitude of this vector. That's going to be the square root of negative 1 squared plus negative 7 squared plus 6 squared, or the square root of 86. And so the area of my triangle is going to be 1 half the square root of 86. In this video, we found that the area of the parallelogram spanned by vectors a and b is given by the magnitude of the cross product a cross b.